Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to be with you. I'm so moved by all of the talks that you gave and, um, and so moved by your actions. I just was reading a, um, a CNN piece that came out uh, that was about the US weapon sales um, that went to Yemen. And the title of it was Sold to an Ally, the ally being Saudi Arabia and uh, ended up in the hands of our enemies. Uh, and just to take that apart for a minute, um, it talked about how the uh, poor, poor country of Yemen was littered with US tanks made by US workers um, that you could go into the marketplace where people could not afford uh, enough food to feed themselves, but you could buy US made assault weapons and that you could even buy Tomahawk missiles. So uh, I, I just felt so disgusted uh, by this, uh, the scenes of these weapons uh, made by the hands of US workers uh, that are um, in a country where millions of people are starving uh, because of our sale of these weapons to the Saudis. And uh, you in the Plowshare 7 make it so clear to us uh, that our enemies are not the Houthis, who 99% of Americans have no idea who they are. Our enemies are not the Iranians, uh, they're not the Venezuelans, uh, they're not the Russians or the Chinese. Uh, our enemies are this military industrial complex, but as you point out so well, it's also the ignorance and the apathy. But I want to take a moment to also look at who are our allies, because I think that sometimes we come so, become so overwhelmed uh, by this military industrial complex. And in looking at our allies, uh, let's remind ourselves that tomorrow is Mother's Day and that 140 years ago, a feminist, Julia Ward Howe, uh, talked in the name of mothers all over the world and said, disarm, disarm, we will not allow our children to kill other mothers' children. I think the majority of women around this world are our allies in this struggle. I also want to recall the beautiful ceasefire message that the UN Secretary General has put out saying that the folly of war has illustrated, uh, the, the fury of the virus has illustrated the folly of war and calls for the weapons to be silenced, calls for an end to the airstrikes. And this has had a tremendous repercussion around the world. Yes, there are nations who have signed up to it, but more important, I think, is all the people who have been inspired uh, by the UN Secretary General's call for a global ceasefire in the midst of this pandemic. And I think we can also recognize that our allies in the struggle are all the young people who are fighting for the Green New Deal, all the people that are pushing for Medicare for all, especially now, uh, when we see how dysfunctional our, uh, can't even call it a healthcare system is, um, all the people who are fighting against the constant attacks on people of color every day that show the astounding racism that exists in our country and the mass incarceration that Professor uh, Cornell West just spoke of. Uh, our allies are the people who uh, flock to the campaign of Bernie Sanders to, to say we need something totally different in this country. Um, our allies are the people of faith like yourselves and those who are part of the Poor People's Campaign that are gathering up people all over the country to say we must work together against militarism, poverty, uh, racism, and environmental destruction. Our allies are a small nation like Cuba that have shown us uh, how a poor country uh, can be such a beacon of hope by sending doctors and nurses and healthcare workers all over the world to fight coronavirus and, and showing how the US sends bombs, uh, weapons, and the nation of Cuba sends doctors and nurses. So I wanna end just by paying tribute to you of the Plowshare 7 by showing us how beautiful it is to dedicate your life to saving lives, to saving this planet, to ending war, and to know that the majority of people around the world are with you. Thank you.